Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. The Israelites have been scattered across the four corners of the earth, as prophesied in Deuteronomy, the 20th chapter. Here in Israel, united in Christ, we need your help to recover the remnant of our people, teach them the gospel. Please help us, support us, and join or donate to the Booster Club today. Shalom. Hey, Shalom Israel, Most High in Christ bless you all. All praise to the Most High that you get to tune in with 15 minutes with the captains. Um, I'm Captain Yan, and to my left, Officer Gamliel. So what we're dealing with in this topic, we're going to deal with depression. Depression, it is a big topic in the black community. Um, mental health. Now, a person that I watch her videos, and some of you all may know her as well, uh, Dr. Joy DeGruy. She addresses mental health in the black community and she calls it post-traumatic slave syndrome, PTSS. Now, she says we all suffer from multi-generational trauma because everything goes back to slavery. We, the Israelites, we say the same thing, but we go to Deuteronomy 28. So let's go to Deuteronomy 28, verse 15. Let's start there. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, uh -huh. to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day, uh -huh. that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Uh -huh. So now this is Moses speaking to the Israelites because you listeners listening in. We are the Israelites, blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians. We are the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel. But what are we addressing? Depression. Do blacks and Hispanics suffer from depression? Yes, we do. Now, does God address this? Yes. Let's go to verse 28. Verse 28. The Lord shall smite thee with madness. The Bible says God will smite us with madness. Come on. And blindness uh -huh. and astonishment of heart. Madness, blindness, and astonishment of mind. Madness. Black people are crazy. A lot of us are crazy as hell. Why? Because what happened to us? We've been destroyed. We've been destroyed as a nation of people. So now let's go to Deuteronomy 28 verse 34. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 34. So that thou shalt be mad for the sight of thine eyes, which thou shalt see. Remember, we seen terrible things in slavery. A lot of the pain that we went through in slavery, as Dr. Joy DeGruy says, that trauma was passed down through generations. That trauma has been passed down. So now today, a lot of the trauma that we deal with, why? Money. Uh, lack of uh, education. Sometimes you may have went to school, let's say you got a bachelor's degree, master's degree, but you can't find a good job. Uh, oppression. What else? What else? Family, lack of success. Many of the, a lot of these things are factors on why we suffer from depression. Why? Because we are an oppressed people. Now look, go to Proverbs chapter 23, verse 7. Proverbs 23, verse 7. Money's a reason oppression in America and being blacks and Hispanics is a reason. Peer pressure is a reason. Why? Because you look at what the other nations have and then you look at what we have, which we don't have a lot as a nation. So you think to yourself, what is wrong with my people? What's wrong with me? What's going on? Let's see. Let's go to Proverbs 23 verse 7. Proverbs chapter 23 verse 7. For as he thinketh in his heart, so is he. God says the way you think about yourself in your mind, so are you. So are you. So that's how that depression gets to our people because we smack ourselves in the mind and saying, you know what? I, I'm not going to amount to much. I'm not. I come from nothing. My family is nothing. 
I'm black. I'm Latino. Look at the neighborhood I live in. Look at my people. You understand? Read that again. Proverbs 23, verse 7. For as he thinketh in his heart. God says the way you think about yourself in your own mind. So is he. So that's how we allow depression because it starts in our mind. So how do you get over depression? You have to cure your mind. What is going to cure the mind of those spirits? Because they're demons. How do you cure it? You have to read the scriptures. You have to search your ancestors. You have to understand the race that you come from. Let's finish uh, verse 7. Come on. For as he thinketh in his heart, so is he. Uh -huh. Eat and drink, saith he to thee, but his heart is not with thee. Now go to Proverbs 15, verse 13. Proverbs 15 and verse 13. <clears throat> Proverbs chapter 15, verse 13. Mm -hmm. A merry heart maketh a cheerful countenance. Uh -huh. But by sorrow of the heart, the spirit is broken. The Bible says a happy mind maketh a cheerful countenance. That's what it says? Yes, sir. Come on, read it again. A merry heart. A happy mind maketh a cheerful countenance. Makes a cheerful countenance. Sometimes when you at work or whatever, just look at our people. Just look at them. Watch them. You'll see our people. They don't look too happy. Why? Because we're oppressed. Because of the condition that we're in. You understand? It, a lot of us in some shape or form, that mental health right there, that's the spirit. We have to fix that spirit. And that's why you listeners tuning in. We want you to understand the cure is the scriptures. The cure is the Bible. Read that again. And remember, this is God's counsel. Not the shrink. This is God's counsel. Let's listen to what the Bible says. Before you're looking online trying to order a set of pills... Let's see what God's solution to your mental health or depression is. Read this again. A merry heart. A happy mind. Maketh a cheerful countenance. Makes a cheerful countenance. Makes, meaning what? Puts a smile on your face. Get Proverbs 14 verse 13. The book of Proverbs chapter 14 verse 13. Mm -hmm. Even in laughter, the heart is sorrowful. The Bible says even in laughter... Now, you meet this individual, he's laughing, he's smiling, she's laughing, she's smiling. But what does it say now? Read it again. Even in laughter, the heart is sorrowful. Uh-huh. And the end of that mirth is heaviness. And the end of that smile is heaviness. Now, what I wrote down, some of you all will know this song because this song came out when you were young. This song came out years ago. The song with Smokey Robinson, the track of my tears. And what did he say? I wrote it down. What did he say? He says, now you remember the song. You know the song, right? Track of my tears. Remember, it, remember it goes do, 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 do. Now, one of the lyrics in Smokey Robinson's song, he says, so take a good look at my face. And then look, he says, you'll see the smile. You'll see my smile looks out of place. The song is about even though he's smiling, even though he's laughing, even though he's having a joyful time, he's really depressed. He's really not happy, but he hides his depression through smiling. So let's see what God says. Read that again. Even in laughter, the heart is sorrowful. So even in laughter, the mind could be sorrowful. Come on. And the end of that mirth is heaviness. And the end of that happiness, the end of that is heaviness. So this type of person is hiding it, that depression. That's why the last scripture says, what? Read Proverbs 15, 13. Proverbs 15, verse 13. Yes. A merry heart. That's what you have to do. You have to have a merry heart, a merry mind. And what, what's going to give you that merry mind? Fellowshipping. Fellowshipping. That's why this truth heals everything. That's what the Bible heals our mind. Because guess what? Before we come into this truth, we're broken. When we come into this truth, we're still broken. It's the application of God's word, his commandments that heals us. Let's go to Sirach chapter 30, verse 23. Sirach chapter 30, verse 23. The book of Ecclesiasticus or Sirach, chapter 30, verse 23. 
Love thine own soul. The Bible says love your own soul. Come on. And comfort thy heart. And comfort your mind. See, you know why a lot of our people are messed up? A lot of our people suffer from depression. They don't, they don't love themselves. We don't love ourselves. The Bible tells you love your own soul. Come on. Remove sorrow far from you. You have to remove the things that makes you sorrowful far from you. Come on. For sorrow hath killed many. Because the depression, where does it lead to? The death. It leads to grave. It leads to six feet under. Come on. And there is no profit therein. And there's no profit therein. Come on. Envy and wrath shorten the life don't black people don't we suffer from this aren't we envious of each other yes aren't we wrathful with each other yes the bible is telling us how to have a long life the bible is telling you what cures depression love a merry heart mirth okay now let's go to romans oh there's more yes, go ahead finish it oh it goes into health right that's the last go ahead okay go ahead Envy and wrath shorten the life, uh -huh. and carefulness bringeth age before the time. And carefulness, what's carefulness? You worrying all the time. Why are you always worrying all the time? It's not, it's normal. Now, being black is almost synonymous with worry. That's almost, the two almost go hand in hand. But God is telling us, the most high God is telling us not to worry. Because that's why the scripture says, cast all your care upon him. All right, so come on, keep reading. A cheerful and good heart will have a care of his meat and diet. You see, so the Bible teaches us that if we care about ourselves, we will have a care for our own diet. All right, so now let's go to Romans 15, verse 4. So this is the, and remember, depression, that, that isn't a 15 minute topic. That's a long topic. We're just trying to hit a few scriptures to show you that, guess what? As blacks, Hispanics, do we suffer from depression? Yes. Um, but is there a cure for depression? A lot of it. Yes. It's the scriptures. All right. So now let's go to Romans 15, verse four. Romans chapter 15, verse four. For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning mm -hmm. that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures. The scriptures would give us comfort might have hope. Come on. Now the God of patience and consolation grant you to be like-minded one toward another. Okay. Right. So now read verse 4 one more time. For whatsoever things were written aforetime. What was written aforetime? The Bible. The Old Testament. The New Testament. The Apocrypha. Come on. Were written for our learning. Okay. That we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. Because the scriptures is what is, is what's supposed to give us hope. It's the scriptures. Now go to Acts chapter 20, verse 32. You see, there is a cure for depression for you out there that suffer from it. The cure is the Bible. That's the cure. That's why you see the Israelites, we hit the streets all the time. Because we're out there to try to redeem the minds of our people. All right, let's go read this now. Acts 20, verse 32. Acts chapter 20, verse 32. Uh -huh. And now, brethren... I commend you to God and to the word of his grace, the word of his grace, which is able to build you up. It's not our words. It's the word of God that's able to build you up. Come on. And to give you an inheritance among all them which are sanctified and to give you an inheritance among all them that are sanctified. So the word of God is what builds you up. One more scripture. Hebrews chapter 10, verse 35. Depression, depression. That is a big topic. That's a big. You can have a long discussion about that. A lot of our people that guess what? In jail, depressed. How did I get here? Why did I get here? Why did I have to murder that man? Why did I have to steal? Why did I have to create a, a scare, a fraud? A lot of our people wonder why is it that we are always at the bottom? So it messes with our mind. We're depressed. Go ahead. Read the scripture. Hebrews chapter 10, verse 35. Uh -huh. Cast not away, therefore, your confidence, 
which hath great recompense you, of reward. Now you understand what the Bible is teaching us? We have to learn to have confidence in the Most High. That's why you have to subscribe to the Israelites. Follow the Israelites because you will be confident in the Most High's word. Why? Because we're going to teach you to keep his commandments. All right. So now read the scripture one more time. Cast not away, therefore, your confidence, uh -huh. which hath great recompense of reward. Which has a great recompense for reward. Our reward is in the keeping of the Most High God's commandments. So this was the first part of our series, Depression. So we hope you learned a few scriptures on why people suffer from depression and what is the cure from it. Part two will be coming. Shalom. Shalom. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling, these are how our men repented at heart, the scriptures is proof, IUIC, we deliver the truth.